Okay, what is up everybody? Freaking dirty Tesla here. I'm covered in mud. Uh, I'm putting in these things from Baznor. They're supposed to help with sound in the front wheel wells. Um, I, I'm gonna do some, some B-roll and um, show you that and talk to you about it because it took us a long time <laughs> to do the first tire. Um, it's, it's fine, I think it fits okay and everything, but um, I wanna get started. I gotta, I'm, I'm with baby at the in-laws house, so I wanna get baby home. Um, but so, I'll get some footage of this, um, and I, the editing is going to be weird on this one. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but whatever. So I'll show you my uh, initial impressions of it, like once we start driving again, now that they're on. I took some decibel readings before uh, on the way here, and then on the same roads, going the same speed approximately, I will take another decibel reading, and I will have video samples for you to hear for yourself to see if you can tell through the video if you can hear a difference. But I think the biggest thing will be my impression, because... If it sounds better to me, then it probably is better, um, even if the decibels maybe don't seem different or whatever. Also, I just decided I'm gonna make this a series. This is gonna be the quest for quiet because I've been realizing lately my Model 3 has got a lot of noise. Um, I think it's mostly wind noise and that I'm hearing. It sounds like from the windshield or something on the side. So I have a few ideas. I've been talking to people on Twitter. I have some ideas of, of how to maybe take care of that. So I'll make this kind of a short series and hopefully uh, I can make the car quieter, less wind noise. That's what I'm going for. Road noise seems fine to me. Um, so. I'm gonna get started. Well, while I'm here, it'll be easier. Let me just tell you really quick, there's uh, 14 of the plastic clips, I think, and then on, on the bottom, there's a 10 millimeter bolt. You gotta take all that out. And then they supply you with new plastic clips, I think that are a bit longer. They also give you uh, some screws. Um, I will tell you, if you have mud flaps on, I don't know if you can even, yeah, um, if you have mud flaps on, it, it's a little harder to get those in because it's, it's extra thick, um, of course, because now there's three layers, but it does seem to work. Um, but yeah, it, it's a little bit more of a pain than I thought. I mean, you gotta take the tire off, of course, which if you can do that is no big deal. Um, but then once you get it off, you gotta take all these clips out, it's a pain. So I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna finish this up, and then I'll talk to you on my way home uh, more about the process and, and what I think. There is a link in the description for this, so check that out if, if I end up liking it, I don't know yet. So to take the, I can't see if I'm in the frame or not. <laughs> so to take the clips out, um, they'll be like this in the car. You can use a flathead, there's a tool for this, but uh, you can use a flathead screwdriver and this will be perfectly flat like that. You can put it into this little area and just twist and it takes a little work, especially some of the spots are hard to get to. Um, and then once it's popped like this, you can go under this part and kind of pull it out. And then um, you can try to preserve them because you might want to use them for something else. going pretty smoothly so far. I know what I need. More leverage. That's maybe too much leverage. Boom. See that? Mm, you got it. You yeah. like that technique? Yeah, I do. Ow. <laughs> All right, so almost done just really quick. Hopefully you can see this. Um, these are the ones we left in, so it helped keep everything lined up. Uh, but now I can take them out and, and put this in. So here we are, all done. Uh, this is what it looks like. It looks really nice, at least. If it doesn't do anything for sound, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a pain to put in. But uh, that that tip of leaving a couple of the clips in and then putting everything in and then taking those out at the end and replacing them, that helped a ton. I didn't mention, but under here there's the bolt and there's also one clip under there you gotta take off as well. Okay, off on the road. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I was there for hours. Didn't expect it to take quite that long. I think, so let's go over installation. Um, it's, it's very straightforward, it's obvious what to do and, and they do have an instructional video which is very straightforward and, and is easy. I think our biggest mistake was the, the first one. We took all the plastic out to clean it off and then getting it lined up again was kind of a pain. So like I said um, in the other clips, leaving some of those plastic clips in on the edge that you can reach even when the foam's in the way and then um, taking them out after, it makes it a lot easier to line up. Everything goes a lot faster. Otherwise, getting all, all three of those holes lined up is pretty difficult. Um, the other big pain has nothing to do with the product. It's the plastic clips that are already in there. They just keep breaking. Um, like, I broke probably half of them and I was trying to be really careful and stuff. And maybe if I had the, the proper tool, um, then, you know, we'd be good. 
But uh, just, just so you know, I was breaking a lot of those plastic clips. They do give you way more than you need um, to replace, so that's, that's really nice of them. Um, I'm gonna say right now, initial impressions, uh, it does sound better. It's not, I, you know, I didn't expect it to be that dramatic. Um, the wind noise is the same, but just that undertone, like coming from the road, it, it sounds better. It really does, actually. So let me do my drive home, uh, get on the highway, all that, and I'll give you one more impression by the time I get home. Um, but let's get to all that and check it out. All right, I'm gonna finish it up here. I had sleeping baby in the back, so it can't be too loud. So for the highway, it wasn't all that much better. Um, it maybe was a little different, but I, I would say pretty negligible. Um, I don't know what the clips, if you can hear a difference in the clips or the decibels I haven't you know, compared yet. Um, but just from sitting in the driver's seat, didn't seem all that different. Right here, what I will say is going this speed up to maybe 60 miles an hour or so, there is a pretty decent improvement. I'm surprised. I come into this stuff skeptical because I'm like, oh, come on, putting a little bit of fabric, you know, here can't make that big of a difference. But it's not huge, you know, it's not like, wow, the car is so quiet now. But it does take away some of that road noise. Um, and even, I mean, just sitting here talking, I, I can still tell. So kind of my final opinion, if you're looking to get rid of some noise, these are not cheap. They're over $100. Um, but... If you really are looking to get rid of some noise and you don't mind putting them in, the price isn't terrible for what they do. I think they do an okay job. Um, again, I don't want people to buy these and be like, what the heck, it's not quiet in here because it, it doesn't dramatically change everything, but it does make it better. And then as far as installation, um, getting the tire off is honestly probably the hardest part. Um, so if you can take the tire off, you know, if you have the equipment to do that, you should be good with... Uh, <laughs> She's yawning back there. You should be good with putting these on. Just like I said, the clips that are already in the car, very annoying um, to take those out. Nothing to do with this product, of course. Um, but once those are out, putting them in is not a big deal if you have everything lined up nicely. And then there were also some little metal pieces that I, I forget exactly where they go, but I'm gonna put them in later. I don't think they're that important, but they connect the plastic to the uh, fabric. Um, so I'll put those in probably later today. But yeah, so overall, this one gets you know a recommendation from me if this is a product you're really looking for and you're adding those things. Uh, I, I think it's probably worth it for you. Now, like I said, this is gonna be a series, the quest for quiet. Um, so as I whisper, that's a Tesla whisperer, as I whisper. Um, so if you have any suggestions on other modifications I should do, not the door seals. I try. I have a video on that. I tried them. Sound-wise, they did nothing. So not the door seals. I have a couple ideas of things I'm going to try. So I'll make videos out of those and take you guys along on that journey to make this car a bit quieter. Again, the thing I'm mostly concerned with is wind noise. So anyway, you will see those videos soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And then I think I'm putting the clips of the before and after um, of the same roads after this. So enjoy those clips. Um, but again, my experience, highway, not much of a difference. Uh, this speed up to 50 or 60 miles an hour does sound nicer for sure uh, and then dirt roads I haven't done a whole lot of dirt roads yet but the ones I did they, they did kind of seem quieter but honestly I think I feel like it's just placebo but they did seem quieter I mean if I'm being honest that's what I thought I don't know if it's actually true but I thought it so again I hope you enjoyed this video uh, enjoy these clips hopefully you can tell some kind of difference and you will see me in the next video before Before. After.